Now at five, UConn is headed back to the Big East. UConn's Board of Trustees accepted the league's invitation today. The official invite from the league will come tomorrow in New York City. And Channel 3 Sports Director Joe Zone is here now with what is next. Joe? Yeah, I mean, Dennis and Denise, this is happening quickly. We heard it first on Saturday. UConn leaving the American Athletic Conference and moving back to the Big East. Today, the first step to that move being complete. Yeah. All right. Today, UConn's president signed a contract for the school to start playing in the Big East during the 2020-2021 academic year. The board must make a decision that's best for the athletic program. At this time, I support accepting the Big East invitation as a better, fit, as a better overall fit, in my opinion, best for our program and student athletes. With that, UConn's move to the Big East was one step away from being complete. The Big East will make the invitation official tomorrow at the conference headquarters in New York. Basketball coaches Dan Hurley and Gino Oriana will be there. The move to the new Big East is considered a boon to UConn's basketball programs, where they will play basketball in the same conference as prominent schools like Villanova, St. John's, and DePaul. But there are no football schools in the Big East, and that does not sit well with football supporters who don't know what will happen with UConn's football program. What he said was, this move to the Big East, I'm quoting him now, sounds like you have bailed out and do not care about UConn's football fans. So, UConn football could remain in the AAC, but does the AAC really want UConn without its basketball programs? I doubt it. There's a possibility the Huskies could join another less prominent conference for just football, or UConn could play an independent schedule. All of these things will be addressed tomorrow in New York City. I'll be there, and we'll have live coverage tomorrow night starting at 5.